In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix updates failed in Windows 10. So as you can see, I've currently got the error code 0x8024601D. So although I've got this error code on my screen at the moment, the methods in this video should also help resolve other error codes when it comes to doing Windows updates. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is just go to the settings area in the Windows update like I have on my screen at the moment. And you then need to select Troubleshoot, Additional Troubleshooters, Windows Update, and then we need to select Run. And allow this to run, and then it should hopefully detect an issue with your Windows updates. If it doesn't, then don't worry, because we've still got a few other methods to do. Once that's finished, and if it didn't detect any issues, you now need to open up the Start menu and search Services. Once you've opened up Services, you now need to click anywhere within the list and then press W on your keyboard. And we're now looking for Windows Update Service. Now right click on the service and press stop. And we then need to open up File Explorer. Once you have File Explorer open, you now need to go to your C drive, then the Windows folder. And we now need to find the software distribution folder and right click on this folder and go rename. And you now need to just add something to the folder. I'm just going to put a two onto the end. Once you've done that, you now need to open up the services again, and we now need to right click on Windows Update and start the service. Next, you need to right click on the start menu icon and go to settings, update and security, and then check for updates again. And as you can see for myself, that's resolved the issue. However, if it hasn't for you, then the next thing to do is open up the start menu and search for command prompt. You can do this by typing CMD and we then want to click run as administrator. Next, you need to type in SFC space forward slash scan now and then press enter. And this will begin to do a system scan to ensure that none of your system files have become corrupt. Once that's finished, restart your computer and then check for updates again. So that now brings me to the end of this video. I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.